Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my Calamity Death Mode Legendary, you know, for the worthy playthrough. And, uh, I actually want to try the Clark Scourge, he aggroed instantly. Okay, yeah, that worked. That last hit did 500 damage. Okay, then. Well, let's, uh... We summon, try again. Actually, here's a question. What is your quest for today? Sea fish, so cotton surface hallow. Hmm, I might go for that if I uh club badly again. good damage whenever they get close to him. Ah! Dang it. I tried dashing and it just didn't work. Oh well. It's like the Hallow Desert. see spider armor I don't think I've got anything else that uh I can make armor wise That's how you do it, is you, with these guys, with these minions, you have to kind of hang out right next to the Aquatic Scourge the entire time. Otherwise, they just don't do enough damage. And now we have the Acid Rain Mark II. And I can also do another Old One's Army, too. Well, I just got the Orthocera shell, which is a turret weapon, or sentry, or what do you want to call it. And right now I'm waiting for the Kragmire Maw to spawn in, because he's got an accessory for summoners. Alright. Does mean I'll probably switch out the emblem. So it's going to be a 15% damage reduction, or I'll lose that plus 15% bonus. But it'll give me another minion slot. Just waiting for this guy to spawn in now. Hopefully he'll spawn in soon. Alright. I still even open up my uh, Aquatic Scourge bag. Gross of Spine. Okay, rogue stuff. Aquatic Emblem. Sure, we'll keep that on. Oh, and we get the Deep Sea Staff. 
Someone's an aquatic star to fight for you. I'll have to give that a try after I uh, get it reforged. So. Where is this guy at? It's like 84% done and the Maw has not spawned in yet. Yeah, it looks like he's not going to show up. Jerk. Alright, let's give this a try. Okay, guys, get in there. There we go. So I'm seeing up to, like, 1200 damage. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where is the buff for my minions at? There it is. Alright, and then deep sea steps. 95 summon damage. Oh god. Yeah, it's over 2,000 at one point in time. Alright, I mean, I'm okay with that. I don't need to get a worm on me when I've beaten the destroyer, so. That away as well. And. I don't think I need to worry about the pirates. I mean, I haven't gotten the pirate staff yet, but I don't really need that right now, so. I'm not too worried about it. I could do cryogen. also do Brimstone Elemental. I think I need Infernal Suvalite. Suvalite or whatever it's called? Alright. This stuff. Suvalite. And let's see. Use that to make Unholy Cores. So I need Raw Hellstone as well. Okay. Let me grab some more of this stuff, too. Kill. There we go. Yeah, the Deep Sea Staff is actually a lot better than I remember it being. Alright, so we have... Our Unholy Core. I got actually like 20 of them. Uh, let's see, the Amalgam. That is... Yeah, Cosmic Anvil as opposed to the Bower of Gods. Uh, Brim Flame Armor, that's Magic Set. Okay. The Brim Rose. It's a mount. Art Idol, which I've got on my hotbar now. The Igneous Exaltation. Summons an Igneous Blade that orbits around you. Which would be pretty good if I had, you know, nine or ten of them going. But it's very short range. I can launch the blades, but then they're gone. And so. Then there's the Lash of Language. That needs Ashes of Calamity, though. So that's Calamitous Clone. It's 190 summon damage, though. Very slow speed. Okay. Means we'll release a brimstone explosion on hit. Okay. So really nothing I want to make with Unholy Cores right now. But something else I want to make is this guy. Bostic Tear. Because I want that accessory. So I need the Kragmire Maw to spawn in still. Alright. He spawned in. Oh, yep, there we go. He 
He's just down there hanging out, being a menace. Where are you guy? He despawned. Yeah, he probably fell through this gap here and that was it. And it's done. And I did not get to kill him, so let's do it again. Alright, round two this time. Yeah, he didn't fall out of reach this time. He did. And we got the fuel rod. Nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Nuclear fuel rod. Minions with some radiated aura on enemy hits. Plus one max minion. Grants immunity to irradiated. Plus, we can upgrade this later on into the star tank generator. Uh, this is, yeah, post Astrum Aureus. And then Bars of Life, which is also, you know, post Golem. Ninety-nine percent. Come on. There it goes. All right. So, old one's army tier two. That's <laughs> three ogres so far. <laughs> Oh, that one actually managed an attack. And 15 more defender. Okay, we got 35 now. Great. And that was after buying the uh, Ballista Cane and Flame Burst Cane. So I got Brand of the Inferno. Got the Creep Rig. Tome Infinite Wisdom, Huntress's Buckler, the Ghastly Glaive, got another Relic, and the Sleepy Octopod. And a Trophy. I didn't realize there was a Trophy for that. Okay, cool. Oh, I didn't even summon my last minion that I got after equipping the fuel rod. Or the nuclear rod, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll keep that. Everything else I'm just going to sell. Alright. We should be good now, and I've had this set up for a bit. Uh, probably the Orthosera shells would be the best. I think they're they're not the highest damage one. They're better than the uh, the Flame Burst King. Huh. The Ballista King even actually has a uh, higher DPS. Uh, slower shots. Shot velocity, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, you! Jerk! Oh my god, right away with that crap. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> wow, that was just not cool. Immediately upon spawning in. Oh, and dang it, I don't have an easy way back there now either. Ugh. All right, let's try that again. Again, right off the bat with that chunk, too. Wow. 
The regular hits do 140. That is just rude. Alright. Ah, oh, dang it. That's about the only other noticeable change between how quick she likes to go into that shell stage and how fast the shots are. I didn't even see that shot that got me. Oh, missed that one. She dead, though. And the uh, Deep Sea Staff has its ups and downs against her, because they quit attacking when she flies through blocks. But they do, like, twice the DPS. So, to the, uh, the ancient ice trunk. Uh, we got the Rose Stone. Okay. Flame Licked Shell. I'm gonna have to fight her again, aren't I? That would be a cool if I was a mage, but I'm not. Alright. Somehow we got a hellfire out of that. Okay. Seizing Discharge, Rose Stone. We got the exact same items again. Oh, no, we didn't. We didn't get the gun. I just want the summon weapon, dang it. Alright. Hey, new personal best. We got Cynix is set. We got the Brimlands, okay. Um, I'm just gonna trash can that. So not quite as good as the butterfly wings, okay. Three more times I had to do that. Uh, yeah, it's doing better damage than the staff was. The, uh, Sea Star staff or whatever it is. But mainly whenever they're within this aura. Yeah, no, I, I'm happy with these. Do they also do Brimstone Flame as well? No idea. All right. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out. We've got elementals to kill, it looks like, still. Crimson Mimic. I have a corruption world, so. Earth and Cloud Elemental. Okay. And then we got Cryogen. And the twins and Skeletron Prime left still. Yay. Okay, and these two here are part of the Clemens clone fight. Okay. Yeah, Eclipse, huh? I don't think that uh, it's going to give me anything good until after my terror, though. But uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one. The sign signing out. Have fun.